Hi, uh, in this video I'll quickly explain about the concept of specific heat capacity of gases at constant pressure. So I've taken a cylinder here in this uh, 3D model and it's got a piston in yellow color and there's a gas, an ideal gas that's entrapped between the piston walls and the walls of that cylinder. Below is a burner and we will heat that uh, gas there using that burner and watch as the gas expands and does work. When we say does work, it will push the piston out, so the piston will move by a certain displacement. Now let's look at uh, what happens when pressure and volume changes in the gas. It can change in four different ways, uh, as you can see in this animation. Uh, and we are now concerned with constant pressure, so the green line that's uh, increasing from left to right shows that as the volume increases from left to right, the pressure remains constant. So this kind of line is called an isobaric line. In this animation now, we are heating up the gas with a fire and um, the piston is being moved out, the gas has expanded. Uh, however, by some means, the pressure of the gas inside is being kept constant. So that's the important thing in the specific heat at constant pressure. Now we supply delta Q to the gas. The gas increased its internal energy and it did some work by moving the piston out. And the gas's temperature increased by delta T. So the specific heat at constant pressure is the amount of heat supplied divided by its increase in temperature per unit mass of the gas. And therefore the units are joules per kg degree Kelvin. The mass of the gas is measured in kg. If the mass of the gas is uh, measured as number of moles, then uh, the unit for specific heat becomes joules per mole degree Kelvin, and the symbol changes from SP to CP. So one has to be careful uh, in a numerical whether um, they're asking for SP or CP. So CP is more popular, and uh, the number of moles are often uh, used in numericals. I hope uh, this video was uh, useful to you to get a quick introduction about the concept of uh, specific heat at constant pressure. Thank you and uh, have a great day.